The mystery of the expanding universe the Big Bang hypothesis has long been the dominant explanation for how the universe began. According to this model, everything we know, space, time, matter, and energy, was compressed into an unimaginably hot, dense state nearly 13.8 billion years ago. In a fraction of a second that singularity expanded, giving rise to stars, galaxies, and eventually, life itself. For decades, this theory stood as the foundation of modern cosmology, shaping textbooks and guiding generations of research. Yet, like all scientific models, the Big Bang is only as strong as the evidence supporting it. And now, new data from the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has sparked a wave of questions, casting doubt on parts of this long-held narrative. The James Webb Space Telescope, launched in December 2021, is the most powerful astronomical observatory humanity has ever built. With its enormous gold-coated mirror and advanced infrared instruments, it was designed to peer farther into space, and therefore farther back in time, than any telescope before it. Every image it captures is not just a picture of the sky, it is a window into the past, showing us what the universe looked like billions of years ago. But what scientists expected to see, and what they actually discovered, are not the same. The telescope's breathtaking images do not merely captivate the public with their beauty. They have also revealed phenomena that challenge our existing models of how the universe formed and evolved. At the heart of this cosmic riddle lies one of the most persistent and perplexing questions in modern astrophysics. How old is the universe, and how quickly is it expanding? This is measured by the Hubble constant, a number that describes the rate at which galaxies move away from one another as space itself stretches. For nearly a century, scientists have tried to pin down this constant with precision, but the results remain frustratingly inconsistent. Two main approaches dominate this measurement. The first is known as the local method. It involves observing relatively nearby galaxies and stars, using standard candles, such as Cepheid variable stars and type Ia supernovae. These objects shine with predictable brightness, allowing astronomers to calculate their distance and, in turn, the expansion rate of the universe close to us in cosmic terms. The second approach looks much deeper into the universe's history. It relies on the cosmic microwave background radiation, CMB, the faint afterglow left over from the Big Bang itself. Discovered in the 1960s, this ancient light is a kind of fossil record from when the universe was only 380,000 years old. By studying subtle temperature fluctuations in this background radiation, scientists can estimate the age, composition, and expansion rate of the cosmos at its earliest stages. Both techniques are powerful, and both are built on decades of careful observation. But there's a problem. The two methods don't agree. Local observations suggest the universe is expanding faster than what the CMB data predicts. This discrepancy, now known as the Hubble tension, has become one of the greatest mysteries in astrophysics. It has left scientists with two uncomfortable possibilities. Either there are hidden errors in one or both methods, or our understanding of the universe is incomplete. The James Webb Space Telescope was expected to help break this stalemate. Its sharp infrared vision allows it to look deeper into cosmic history than the Hubble Space Telescope ever could, offering the chance to refine these critical measurements. But instead of clarity, the first wave of data delivered surprises that few anticipated. Webb revealed galaxies that were not only larger but also far more mature than expected, existing just a few hundred million years after the supposed Big Bang. These massive, well-structured galaxies should not have been possible so early in cosmic history according to our current models. This forces us to confront a profound question. Did galaxies form much faster than we ever imagined, or is our entire framework for understanding cosmic evolution incomplete? Whatever the answer, it is clear that something in our picture of the universe is missing. The search for new physics the revelations of the James Webb Space Telescope have deepened, rather than resolved the mysteries of the cosmos. What began as an attempt to clarify the universe's expansion rate has instead forced scientists to question the very foundations of physics. Two of the greatest puzzles in cosmology, dark matter and dark energy, now stand at the center of the debate. Dark matter is invisible. 
It neither emits nor absorbs light, yet its gravitational pull shapes galaxies and binds them together. Without dark matter, the stars at the edges of galaxies would fly apart. Its presence is inferred through gravitational lensing, where the gravity of unseen matter bends the light of distant galaxies like a cosmic magnifying glass. And yet, despite decades of searching, no one has ever directly detected a dark matter particle. Dark energy is even stranger. It appears to act as a repulsive force, stretching space itself and accelerating the universe's expansion. Together, dark matter and dark energy are thought to make up about 95% of the universe, yet we don't know what they actually are. Now, Webb's measurements suggest that our understanding of these mysterious forces may be incomplete, or even fundamentally flawed. Some physicists suggest that dark energy may not be constant at all. Instead, it could evolve over time, subtly interacting with matter in ways we have yet to uncover. Others believe that the problem lies not with dark energy or dark matter, but with our very conception of gravity. Perhaps Einstein's general relativity, one of the most successful theories in physics, begins to break down when applied to the universe as a whole. This idea has led to proposals such as modified Newtonian dynamics, MOND, or scalar tensor theories, which attempt to explain cosmic behavior without invoking unseen forces. While controversial, these models highlight a growing willingness among scientists to challenge even the most established assumptions in light of new evidence. But the Webb telescope's reach goes beyond cosmic expansion. It is transforming our view of planetary systems and exoplanets, scanning their atmospheres for chemical fingerprints. Molecules such as water vapor, methane, and carbon dioxide can now be detected on distant worlds, some of them orbiting in their star's habitable zone where liquid water could exist. Though this may seem far removed from the question of the universe's age, it adds crucial context. Understanding how matter forms stars, planets, and potentially life helps complete the broader story of cosmic evolution. Equally important is the mystery of cosmic inflation, the explosive growth of the universe in the first split second after the Big Bang. Inflation explains why the universe looks so uniform on the largest scales, yet contains the seeds of galaxies in tiny fluctuations. But the mechanism behind inflation remains unknown. Was it driven by a scalar field? Quantum fluctuations? Or something else entirely? Webb's observations of the earliest galaxies may hold vital clues, revealing patterns of clustering or irregularities that could support, or contradict, different inflationary models. And beyond inflation lies an even greater challenge, reconciling quantum mechanics with general relativity. Quantum mechanics governs the smallest scales of particles and forces. Relativity governs the largest scales of stars, galaxies, and the fabric of spacetime. Both theories are incredibly successful in their own domains, but they do not fit neatly together. At the beginning of the universe, where matter was compressed to extremes, these two frameworks must converge. To date, no one has found the missing link. Theories like string theory and loop quantum gravity attempt to bridge the gap, suggesting that space-time itself may be woven from quantum threads or vibrating strains. Though still unproven, Webb's discoveries may provide the kind of data needed to test these bold ideas, inching us closer to a true theory of quantum gravity. One thing is certain, our knowledge of the universe remains incomplete. Each new image from the James Webb Space Telescope expands our vision while simultaneously deepening the mystery. It has given us the ability to peer at galaxies formed mere hundreds of millions of years after the Big Bang, galaxies that should not exist under current models. It has unsettled our understanding of cosmic structure, expansion, and time itself. And it has given us sharper tools to ask better questions about where we came from and where we are going. As more data arrives, especially from future missions like the Euclid Space Telescope, and from powerful ground-based observatories such as the Vera Rubin Observatory, we may find ourselves on the edge of a new cosmological paradigm. Perhaps the Hubble tension will turn out to be a clue pointing toward unknown particles or forces. Perhaps it will reveal flaws in the assumptions of general relativity. Or perhaps it will show us an even stranger truth, one that no one has yet imagined. 
Until then, the clash between competing measurements of the universe's expansion will continue to drive innovation, debate, and discovery. And whatever the resolution, it will not only reshape our understanding of how the universe be-